Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming today, and uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the second day of the conference. Uh, today, we have a slight change in the first presentation, and uh, our chairman would be giving you the details uh, for what are the changes today. Uh, we have a new chairman for today, who is Mr. Aftab Hassan. He is the chief executive officer for Aria Insurance Brokerage Company. Mr. Hassan is from uh, Mr. Hassan is from the Aria Insurance Brokerage Company, which operates as an insurance brokerage and risk management company in Dubai. Mr. Hassan is an MBA with an engineering background and has approximately 23 years of professional experience serving leading uh, management companies and uh, teams. And uh, he's worked extensively in India and Middle East. And in Middle East, particularly, he's worked in energy, offshore, marine, oil, and gas sector. His focus in his uh, company is to serve the growing and challenging industry. Mr. Hassan is also the managing director of uh, Maritime Management Company, which is a diversified company with headquarters in Dubai. And uh, he's also the founder and chairman of AR2 Solutions in Dubai, which is an emerging as uh, one of the leading business partners, developers and implementers of uh, business management software and solutions to customers in Middle East. He has been a speaker at various conferences and summits, and uh, he speaks on uh, various topics uh, related to the industry. Mr. Hassan has a proven track record of uh, un accomplishing the pilot projects and driving business into new marketplaces. He is known for sound fiscal and operational management and pace setting results, extensive history in recruiting, motivating, and leading top executive management team members. Uh, I would like to welcome Mr. Hassan on stage now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your patience, first of all. Uh, apologies for the delay. We are running a little late than the schedule. Uh, as a customary, before we start the summit, as the chairperson of the day, I have to put a note. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second day, and uh, it's a very special honor and privilege to be your host for the day. We have uh, been listening since yesterday uh, various speakers on various subjects of our industry. Probably all of you have taken the benefits of this particular summit, and I hope so another two days is going to be a beneficial for everyone. Thank you for the interest you have uh, shown, and thank you for coming here from near and far to take part in this summit and our discussion over the next days. It is an opportune time to renew contacts and discuss issues and problems of mutual interest with uh, delegates from Middle East and Africa region. It also gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of the organizer, Fleming Gulf, at this summit, and I would like to start by describing some of the current issues globally that are, that are closely related to the subject of this conference. It is gratifying to note that the agenda of the seminar covers like uh, the entire gamut of insurance product, saving product, life insurance, and in general, energy insurance and general insurance. In the course of today, we will discuss issues of financial stability and issues of risk mitigation. The insurance industries, as we know, plays vital and vitally important functions throughout the economy and never more so than in these uncertain times, which we all believe and we have been witnessing. As you will appreciate the fact that in my last 23 years of professional engagement working with regional and multinationals, it gave me the exposure to interact and engage on banking issues. Indeed, it is nice to talk to a sector which is an offshoot of the financial industry, which has not been responsible for destroying any chance of weekend relaxations of all of us. 
although in the insurance industry, it is clear that there have been challenges, problems, and a need for a radical change. We need major changes in our approaches to capital adequacy, liquidity and credit rating, etc. We have extremely difficult issues to address in the regulation and supervision of large cross-border trade as well. And we need to decide whether changes in capital regulation should be combined with changes in accounting approaches, which we'll discuss in the day to come. The context for all of financial services has changed significantly, which requires response from the industry across with its very many different facets. I started by referring to the banking crisis, but also by recognizing that insurance is different and I will end on that point. We need to recognize that the sheer scale of the financial crisis will create demands to be more vigilant and at times more intrusive than before across all sectors and that there will be changes in approaches which will affect all sectors and we need in macro prudential analysis to understand the complex and changing interlinkages between all the different sectors of the financial industry. The scale of assets that our industry manages is testament to the confidence placed with us globally. Industries that rely on trust need to stay alert to changing circumstances to maintain that trust. There can be no doubt that the insurance industry will play an important part in restoring growth and rebalancing the economies of the world. I would like to focus today on fostering strong corporate governance and properly functioning capital market, which we see as part of our pro-business, pro-growth agenda as well. Let me begin by acknowledging there is much that is good about our corporate governance framework in our industry, but the financial crisis has intensified long-standing concerns over whether there are systematic flaws in the way companies are owned and managed. The challenges made by the summit are significant, but I am confident that you will succeed in your objectives. I wish you a very pleasant stay here in Dubai and a productive and successful meeting. I declare the conference open. Thank you. With today's uh, second day of the summit, my first uh, presenter, His Excellency Engineer Salah Salim bin uh, Umair Al Shamshi. Unfortunately, he can't make it because there is an accident which we just came to know from his office. He met while coming from Abu Dhabi. Uh, Fortunately, there's nothing wrong with him. This is the only car which we always take care of from our industry. So that could be replaced. But he's still with us safe. Uh, we requested the second presenter, Mr. Fatal Lawai. He's the West African Insurance Companies Association president, and we requested him to fill the gap to come up the slot to start with his presentation. Mr. Fatal Lewal is the managing director and chief executive officer, Sterling Insurance Assurance Nigeria Limited, and current president of West African Insurance Companies Association. Mr. Lawal is also a council member of both Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria and Nigeria Insurance Association as well. He is an ambassador of the International Insurance Society, USA, a director of Golden Capital and Golden Securities Limited with over 25 years post-qualification experience spanning across insurance broking, direct insurance, and reinsurance. Mr. Lawal worked for Glanville and Continental Reinsurance Company Limited before assuming the chief executive position of Refuge Insurance Company while from 93 to 99, and later Universe Reinsurance Company before it was merged with the Sterling Insurance Nigeria Limited. Mr. Lawal's credentials include Fellow Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria, Fellow Chartered Institute, Institute of London. He's also an MBA, University of Lagos, and he's also a Bachelor of Science degree in insurance, University of Lagos, Al Aluminus Logos Business School, 
Mr. Lawal is widely traveled and happily, of course, married as well. We welcome Mr. Lawal for this, and uh, we look forward, everybody will take the benefit from this presentation. Please, thank you. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a pleasure for me to be here to make this presentation on behalf of my person. And I'd like to quickly say that uh, my presentation is solely mine and does not represent the views of the West African Insurance Association, which I represent as president, nor does it represent the views of the board and management of Sterling Assurance Company in Nigeria, Limited, which I also represent as managing director. Today, I will be talking about the challenges and opportunities of the African insurance market. Uh, I'll give a short outline, uh, a brief introduction about the African continent and the African insurance market, a review of the African market, insurance market structure, and a short review of the challenges and the opportunities that are open uh, in the African insurance market, I also like to make a few suggestions and recommendations before drawing a conclusion. Africa is the second largest continent in the world with a land mass area of about 30 million square kilometers, approximately 11.7 square meters. The continent is divided into 62 political entities. And in the last 20 years, the continent has opened up its economy and removed most of the protectionist hurdles that were initiated after independence. Um, I just put before you a map of Africa showing the breakdown of these 62 uh, countries that makes up the continent of Africa. Some of these divides were largely artificial because you find the people when you see some of them around here, they look alike, and sometimes they don't even speak the same language. The, the continent could be divided into five. We have the north, represented by Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia. We have the west, where I come from, uh, starting from Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Nigeria. We also have the East Africa, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Kenya. We have the Central Africa, um, made up of Mauritania, Mali, um, 